Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. I'm here today to talk about the Diffenbachia, app, which is also known as the Dumb Cane. And people who've been following my videos will know that I've been having quite serious problems with trying to grow this at my home. And every time I bring one of these into my home and try and grow it, it deforms into something quite different from what we're looking at. And this is obviously unnatural, and I'm trying to get to the bottom as to why it does that. So what I've done, I've actually built this Faraday cage. And as you can see, it's covered in aluminum mesh. And I've put the plant inside it. I'm going to grow the plant inside here for several months and see what happens, because I have a very strong suspicion that it's the RF radiation in this area, and microwave radiation in this area that is deforming this plant. Because I've seen similar effects in my garden. And I've actually measured the RF radiation outside. And it seems to peak up to about 700 millivolts per meter. And it's a very high biologically and natural level. So I'm not surprised to see that these plants are deforming. And... Uh, I'm very, very interested to get to the bottom of it because ever since I've lived in this house, I've actually quite extensively suffered from fatigue. And fatigue is one of the biggest reported problems around RF transmitting equipment. So I've only recently got to the bottom of why that was affecting me. And I've actually taken all my wireless products out of service. And also the majority of my home electrical system I've seen a major improvement in my health. But I still can't grow one of these plants, so this is my next step. So we have a Faraday cage. It's going to grow inside this Faraday cage. And as soon as I know the results of this experiment, which I expect are going to take several months, I will post another YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.